Hello traders, in this video we're going to cover the roadmap software specifically on TradingView. There's a lot to this. I want to explain to you what the zones mean, how to best trade it, where the stops are, where the targets, really how you should be using the roadmap software. For those of you who have the roadmap software, you have a separate live training and you have a training or trading room that you have access to which covers all this on a daily basis. Any of you that may have a free trial, this is going to be a good introduction on how to use the roadmap zone. When you first bring up trading view, check your email to make sure that we've activated you. And then it may take up to, let's say, half an hour or an hour once we get your email in order to activate you. You're going to come here to indicators. And when you click on this indicators tab, you have a few options here. You want to go to the invite only. You may have other indicators here in your favorites or in um, community, but we're going to come here to invite only. So this is where you're going to locate all the day trade to win software, which is proprietary. And you're going to see here, you may have the ABC. For those of you who are in mentorship, you may have all of these already active. Now we're going to come here to the roadmap and you're going to just click on it once. Now I already have it added to the chart, so just make sure you add it just once. Okay, you click on it just once. Okay, once we've added it to the chart, you should see what you're seeing, something along the lines that looks like this. We're going to start off with a one minute chart. You may want to go with a five minute chart or a 30 second chart, but I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use a one minute chart. The other thing with the roadmap is that we should be starting off using the micro e-mini or the e-mini S&P. You can trade it on other markets like the crude oil, but I think that primarily we're going to focus on the e-mini S&P. That's where the roadmap is formulated to be best used. Now the zones, the zones are areas of manipulation. So think about a situation where there are traders that are buying and accumulating, buying and accumulating, and once it lands in the zone, even though I may not know if the market's going to go through the zone, if the market is in a strong trend, but I'm going to be very careful because what typically happens on a, on a regular day is the market goes up and down. It works like this. The market typically goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and it goes down. And where the market turns around and pivots, these are areas of manipulation. So the software has this built in already where you want to be first filtering out trades. Let's say you're uh, trend following, or let's say that you're trailing a stop. So we're looking at being in a trade leading me up to the zone or down to the zone. And that's why you see here zone A up and zone B down and zone B down, zone A down. So what this means is if let's say that you took a short position right here, right now, your goal is to see the market lead you all the way down to zone A. And then when it reaches zone A, or zone A down, or zone B down, or zone C down, if it continues lower, this is where you need to be careful because it may reverse and it may uh, flip around and turn around and you don't want to get whipsawed out of a trade. So just remember that the first thing we're going to look at is whether or not once the market reaches a zone as it goes down or as it goes up, if it's going to bounce off of it and reverse off of it. So we don't want to get caught in a situation like that. So that's step one. As an example, let me show you what that means. Okay, so you see here a situation where the market is going up and up and up and up and up, and then it lands inside of this roadmap zone. And more importantly, it does not go through it. Once we realize that the market got stuck in the zone, that means they're taking profit and it creates a signal now to go short in the opposite direction. So we're entering at the beginning of a move as it turns around, as it begins to go up into the zone, stops, can't go any further because there's profit taking and then it reverses. Now you're going to see these yellow bars. These yellow bars are telling you that the price is trading inside of the zone. And so we're now paying attention to whether or not it goes straight through it or if it reverses off of it. So when you see the yellow bars, that's just telling you that we're trading inside of a zone. Be careful. Unless it goes through it, we can continue trailing a stop. We can continue going along, but be very careful because it may reverse and turn around. When that happens, you're going to see a signal to enter the position short because as we go up, right, as we go up, the market gets stuck in the zone 
and then it reverses off of it. So really the most important part of this is whether or not it goes through the zone. You're going to see here a line. There's a line just above it. That would be really the indication that if you're short, to use that as, as a stop, and also almost like a pivotal stop and also to use that as an opportunity to say okay the zone is broken it's going a few ticks above or outside the zone and now I can continue and go long as an example and so that's what the goal is now you're gonna also see this line here right over here this little purple line right there that would be in essence your first target so once it reaches this purple line you can say okay I can trail a stop I can fully get out of the trade if you're a funded trader this is a great way to get in and get out take profit and be done or trail a stop so that little purple line right there would be considered based on the average true range the ATR that would be considered your first target from this point on, it's all gravy, right? You can trail a stop, you can go to break even. There's so many things you can do on your end. But for the funded traders, this is a good way to say, okay, I got in short and I'm immediately gonna get out. Or if you're scalping, or if you're thinking about it, doing any of those things, adding positions and so forth. Now, on a different situation, you can see here that the market is going down. So now the opposite is true. We're waiting to see the market go down and whether or not it's gonna stop usually it gives you one or two candles and then it reverses on a normal situation now this is the market open so the market open is oftentimes very strong very volatile so it's not really the greatest um, situation to be in if you're trying to catch a move because it could swing and whipsaw as you can see so the market goes through the zone goes to the next zone and stops and pauses and does not go through it and now it reverses off of it. So that's actually what we're looking for. We're looking for a situation where the market lands in the zone, stops and goes through and reverses. Part one, in this first zone, it didn't do that. The second zone, it did. That's your stop, let's say, if you're gonna go long, that would be your stop. Or that would be really the, the point where you say, I'm not gonna hold on to this trade any longer. And you can see that it happened again, where the market went up to, the zone A up, so it's green because the market's going up, it stops, doesn't go through it, and then reverses. And the same thing is true, it comes down here, lands in the zone, doesn't really do anything, doesn't reverse, and then goes through it, and now we can say, okay, whether or not we're gonna go to the next zone, I don't know, but the idea here is to say, are we now in a trend and continuing down to the next zone? Uh, the yellow bar, just like this yellow bar, means we're in the zone. Be careful. Let's just give it a moment to see what's going to happen. And the same thing is true. Now, again, it goes through the zone to the next zone. So really, you can trade from zone to zone in the same direction, or you can wait until it lands in the zone and then reverses. So it landed in zone B, stopped, and then reversed. And that's what you're seeing here. You're seeing this uh, movement it's really price action where the market is going down into a direction stops and then reverses so when you're seeing the market moving lower and lower and lower and then stopping at one of these zones give it a moment wait until it reverses off of it the very next candle closed back up it's a green candle the signal appears it's telling me that the zone did its job it told us what to do and not continue lower and now look for a counter trend trade now when the market is strong think about this for a minute when the market is strong typically the first zone is not that important because the first zone happens almost immediately and if the market is strong it'll have to go and stretch further out in order for it to stop and take profit or stop in reverse so when you're looking at a stronger market high volatility I wouldn't focus too much on the first zone as a stop in reverse I would look at maybe the second or third or fourth zone so you can see here that this is the first zone to the upside market just went straight through it so that's why you have a roadmap long signal to go long and that purple line right there would be your stop as it continues it goes to the next zone broke above the next zone you have another long trade went to almost the third zone that's why it says zone a up zone b up zone c up is because the market's going up doesn't quite reach in the zone just comes right in front of it and then reverses off of it
So you could have taken this trade long, you could have taken this trade long, but as soon as it fails to go any higher and starts reversing, that's your opportunity to get out of the trade, break even, or use that purple line as the stop. And the same thing is true. Now it's on its way down. So we do this all day long. And I don't think you need a lot of these trades. I always say in the videos that we do that you need maybe four, five, six trades. And then if you're up for the day, stop. Especially for the funded traders, the goal is to get ahead. Now, as you're going down, it lands in the zone. And you don't see a yellow bar. And then the very next bar went straight through it. So what do we have? Roadmap short because this zone didn't hold that means we're going lower it's the first zone to the downside that means if the market is strong or if it's volatile it may not uh, be strong enough to hold profit is going to be taken at some point but further down or in a, in a distance that's much lower okay so then you have a roadmap short market continued lower went into the next zone and by the way once the zones are broken the zone stops plotting so you can see that as the market goes down, once it broke, broke the zone, this is no longer valid. And that's why you, you don't see it continuing on to the right. The same thing is true here. It goes to the next zone. It broke the zone. It stopped plotting. Now we have more roadmap short signals. And the reason for this is because once it breaks the zone, it's almost telling you strong trend. Nothing's here stopping the market from returning back up. The sellers are overpowering any buyers or any profit taking. Continue to take it short. Now, how many trades do you need of this? One, two, three. It just keeps on going. One candle broke through the zone. That means there's nobody there stopping the market from going uh, any lower. Now you have here a pause. They're all the same, right? So if you're uh, taking this short, and this is your target and you start seeing okay the market's not going anywhere that would be your your stop same thing is true it starts to come back up there's no yellow bar there's no indication that it landed in the zone begins to stop in reverse broke through the zone the zone stopped plotting roadmap long and so we do this all day long right so if you're looking at where we are right now so let me just go to where we are at the moment and you see here um, how we have these two yellow bars. This is indicating that the market's beginning to slow down. The sellers are now beginning to absorb the buyers. Even though it still went higher, this is really an, an idea to say, be careful, we may see a reversal. Now, it didn't happen. Once it goes through it, roadmap long. Okay, and then that would be your, your stop right there. And your target would be up there, your, your purple line, if that's your first target. Same thing is true, it broke the zone didn't even give it a, a moment to even think about it. it just went right through it that's your stop that purple line telling you to go long and your target would be right there goes to the next zone as you can see okay again part one lands in the zone will it reverse yes it did begins to turn around and now the market reverses and we do this all day long so where we where we're at right now here let's see if I can the chart here's where we are right now the market's slowing down so you can see in these other examples where the market's stronger the higher volatility it goes through the zone much faster much stronger the first zone is almost instantly bypassed but when the market is a little bit slower like we are right now we're now in the afternoon new york time you can see that it's taking a very long time to get down here to zone a which is where i'm going to focus on to whether or not the market lands in the zone and then reverses. So when you check back on your charts, take a look to see if that's exactly what happened on this particular day. Over here, the market never reached zone A, so there's nothing really that we need to do or can do. We're just waiting for it to reach. Never reached it, never hit it. Now it's starting to come back down. Now this is your focus. Will it land in the zone and will it reverse? Let's take a look at the, the settings on the back end. So I'll come here to the settings. A couple of things here that we should focus on. The first thing we're going to focus on is the ATR, the average true range, because this tells me what target we're looking at, how the market is moving. Is it, is it, uh, are the candles large or the candles small? So I always use an ATR setting of four. You can use it to whatever you want, but I think this is more of a universal, whether you're using a five minute chart, a 30 second chart, a one minute chart, it doesn't matter. You could change the colors of the signals. You can make the font larger. 
uh, or smaller if you'd like for the long or short signals. Now you can also change the colors for the zones as well because we have four zones in total. So zone A, zone B, zone C. So I have them all the same and I have the text all the same. But this is really up to you how you want to configure it. You can change the color for the long uh, entry long lines or the entry short lines as well. Now these are the, the stop loss and the take profit. So I have them thin because I don't want to have too much clutter on my chart. You can change these colors any way that you want and you can also make them default. And that's what you're seeing here, the, the stop loss and the take profit. For the style, what we have here is change the bar colors if you want. You can also uh, change it to boxes, panels, or lines. You can play around with these settings, but I don't really touch these settings. I think as they are, they're pretty much defaulted. It works for everybody. Uh, the visibility as well, the same thing. I don't really uh, mess with these settings. I keep them defaulted as they are. Some traders have asked me about the alerts, right? So how do we get alerts on the roadmap or really any uh, software that we offer? So some traders want alerts on their phone. Some traders want alerts once it reaches a certain price or something along those lines. So you come here to the word alert here in the settings and you could set here the condition for the alert for the sound do you want it to be long or do you want it to be a signal for the short so you would add these alerts here okay so you see here i have three notifications um, notify an app show in the toast notifications and play a sound if you'd like so i don't really do too much with with the uh, notifications i like to hear the sound but i don't really get an email or anything like that unless you really want that to be done okay you do have the option and let's say that you are that you add something else to the chart. So let's say that you are coming here to the indicators and you want to have the ABC. Okay, so I added the ABC to the chart. And the same thing is true. Actually, I think I added it twice. Let me just remove that. So now we have the ABC. And if I come here to alerts, I can then choose the condition. Do I want the roadmap? Do I also want the ABC? Um, here are the settings and so on. So for those of you who have the other day trade to win software, you could say, I want the ABC signal. I want it to only give me a long. I want it to do, uh, I want it only do once. I want to create the signal. And so now if I have this up, you're going to hear a sound for the ABC. Now this video is going to focus on the roadmap. So I'm going to remove here the ABC, but that's how you would add an alert for trading view if you want to be part of the day trade to win community of traders visit daytradetowin.com we have some specials we have some discounts available for members feel free to email us if you have any questions until next time good trading